nobody will be in a position to contest the election. Then again Kansi Ram gave them a chance, you go outside, discuss among yourself who is the genuine uh, candidate and then come to me after finalizing among yourself. Then ultimately uh, two people, they uh, left the uh, I mean, entire uh, uh, debate discourse uh, or race uh, to contest the election, two people again came uh, in front of Kansi Ram. Then Kansi Ram again interacted and asked the, uh, them, Ki you are the two. Now you tell me who is the real content, uh, 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 candidate from uh, that particular assembly seat. So both of them are very, on, uh, I can say they were quite honest people and they said, sir, dono mein se hum logo mein se koi nahi hai. And do to pehle hat gaye. E dono ne ka, sir, we are not a real contender from that constituency. The real contender is Dinanath Bhaskar. So where is Dinanath Bhaskar? Then he asked. Sir, he is not having money to come to Delhi to meet you. Finally, what he did, Kansi Ram, just you see the vision, just you see how he was, the judging capacity, how he was judging the person, how he was trying to extract the ground reality. That is the, that I am trying to just uh, uh, give you this picture. And immediately, Kansi Ram gave a ticket uh, in the name of Dinanath Bhaskar and asked those, these two people, you go and hand over the ticket to Dinanath Bhaskar, he will contest the election and rest of the thing I will manage. Next assembly election, Dinanath Bhaskar contested the election. In fact, he was not in a position even to run his family. And he won the election and, and he, was, he, was, he was made health minister of Uttar Pradesh. That kind of con uh, contribution uh, is made by my Manoar Kansi Ram. So Kansi Ram created number one awareness building among uh, he started working on awareness building number one and ensured their representation. He was least bothered about winning, losing and another important uh, uh, aspect of uh, his uh, politics was see uh, he stood uh, uh, in election or he contested election against three prime ministers, perhaps you are aware, you are not uh, aware, he contested election against Atal Bihari Bajpayee, he contested election against uh, this uh, uh, Vishwanath Pratap Singh, he contested election against uh, this uh, Rajiv Gandhi. Knowing the fact he will be defeated, the way politics was being played, the way uh, Indian politics was, uh, uh, I mean, uh, prevalent in the society, but he decided it was his firm commitment, it was his firm decision to contest against them. Uh, Javim sir, uh, so Sahib Kanchiram was the greatest leader. So uh, what do you think about him when you hear him and how do you compare him with other great leaders? See, uh, thank you. In fact, uh, Kanshi Ram was a completely different leader from other political uh, parties. Those are representing traditionally may take, a, for example, Congress party was uh, the main leading fo force on, uh, in those days. But uh, when I met him for the first time in uh, 1980, when I was uh, a student in Allahabad University, and I met him for the first time. I come across about his movement. I talked to him at St. Joseph College. And from that time I, uh, onwards, I started following Kanshira. Most important uh, 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 the, uh, in, uh, in him was the quality of leadership, how he was different from traditional leaders. Because uh, everybody was saying uh, and all the political party was claiming they are representing to the marginalized people. But as far as reservation is concerned, representation is concerned, nobody was willing to promote leadership among the, among, uh, among the uh, sub-section of the society, I mean the Bahujan section of the society. And initially perhaps you are aware, Kansi Ram started uh, working on inhalation of caste written by uh, Dr. Babasa Bhimrao Ambedkar initially and he devoted almost 6-7 years on this issue. And he realized there is no need, uh, there is no 
चांस ऑफ इनहिलेशन ऑफ कास्ट कास्ट कैन नॉट बी डिमिनिश कास्ट कैन नॉट बी वाइप्ड आउट सो देन ही चेंज हिज आइडियोलॉजी हिज इंटायर परसेप्शन चेंज एंड ही स्टार्टेड इंस्टेड ऑफ इन वर्किंग टू इनहिलेट द कास्ट ही स्टार्टेड यूनाइटिंग इंटायर सब ग्रुप्स सब कास्ट एमंग द ओ बी सी एमंग द शेड्यूल कास्ट नाउ वट इज एंड आउट ऑफ सिक्स थाउजेंड कास्ट He succeeded only to mobilize uh, seven seven hundred seventy six seventy eight uh, subcast among the SC, among the ST, among the OBC, and uh, before that, if you go, so he was the person who started uh, social movement, Bam Safe, then uh, DS4, then uh, nineteen eighty four, he formed uh, political party, and uh, first he. He started he making his social base. He in, uh, started, I mean, strengthening his position among the among the among the uh, most marginalized section of the society. And you are perhaps you are aware, except a few, a very you can say percentage of those communities are unrepresented. And in democratic setup, one vote is a sufficient, or you can say it is a decisive factor even to win. If one person is getting one uh, uh, an vote uh, uh, than his competitor, so he will be declared as a winner. Or getting getting one vote less, he will be declared as a loser. So just you think of okay, how this uh, he gave the importance to the value of vote, one value, one uh, one system, and realizing the fact it, this is the issue when uh, when we can we can. Uh, I mean, create awareness among the population, among the most marginalized communities. Suppose, uh, uh, among the backward classes, uh, this Pal community, most marginalized community, uh, this Chef, uh, this um, uh, uh, Maurya community, again most marginalized community, uh, and another uh, this Rajbhar community. In fact, th uh, those leaders are seen today. They all are pr promoted and and supported by Kansira movement. Initially, they were. For the this uh, Bahujan movement, and it was the Kansi Ram who, in fact, developed this sub caste leadership, and this was the first experiment, and that is why I used to tell he was the first person, he was the first social reformer in this country who uh, understood the importance of the community, and he tried his best to translate this masses into into the vote. By creating, uh, I mean, awareness among Rajbhar community, among among uh, uh, this uh, uh, Pal community, among small small so many so many groups, uh, uh, those were not even recognized in in electoral politics. So that was his most important contribution to the society. Now everybody is asking about their representation. Just to go back to eighties, nineties, and after when party was created. So Kansi Ram fielded candidate from those community who were never given representation. That is the most scientific, you can say, allocation of seats in in a, in a, in a democratic setup. Initially, they were not. They were used as a vote bank. Every time uh, this uh, these communities were considered as a vote bank. When it's come to representation, th there was no representation as such. So Kansi Ram created number one. Awareness building among uh, started working on awareness building number one, and ensured their representation. He was least bothered about winning, losing, and another important uh, uh, aspect of uh, his uh, politics was, see, uh, he stood uh, uh, in election or he contested election against uh, three prime ministers. Perhaps you are aware, you are not uh, aware. He contested election against. Atal Bihari Bajpayee. He contested election against uh, this uh, uh, Vishwanath Pratap Singh. He contested election against uh, this uh, Rajiv Gandhi. Knowing the fact, he will be defeated. The way politics was being played, the way uh, Indian politics was, uh, uh, I mean, uh, prevalent in this society. But he decided it was his firm commitment. It was his firm decision to contest against them. Why he was he was uh, I mean doing all sort of politics because the amount of uh, you can say name and fame Rahul Gandhi uh, Rajiv Gandhi was getting he will get the equal attention by the press by the media when B P Singh was contesting uh, Lok Sabha election from Allahabad 
it was a kansi ram and kansi ram uh, uh, in fact it was a deliberate uh, uh, i mean manipulation of the election otherwise kansi ram would uh, was in a position to uh, give a positive result in the, uh, against the bp singh uh, only and so first he established his own image Um, uh, um, uh, and try to build up his image among the population among the uh, people that of course he is the masses uh, is the leader of the masses number 1 number 2 creating awareness building among the society those were uh, completely you can say side line their their representation was almost zero so they um, they uh, represent uh, given representation by building giving first uh, representations in social organizations like bam sef Uh, ds4 and these kind of organization so almost two decade he work to uh, create awareness through social organization and after you know the social organization have certain limits they cannot cross the limit uh, because everybody everywhere you will get the aspiration of the people the way level of awareness is increasing so um, so uh, aspiration of the people increase so t- keeping all those thing in mind kansi ram changed his strategy and immediately he floated the party bahujan samaj party and afterward first experiment experiment what he de- uh, did uh, was he uh, uh, cho- uh, chosen this um, uh, azamgarh district that is my uh, home district and first member of parliament he secured before that the first uh, uh, public gathering uh, you can say rally <laughs> uh, he addressed and there were more than 7 8 lakh people turn uh, turn up in uh, that rally particular rally it uh, had held uh, somewhere <clears throat> in a 1991 so so and the first member of parliament this party gave was uh, uh, ram kishore yadav he was elected for the first time uh, in, uh, in parliament from azamgarh lok sabha lok sabha constituency and it it was a kind of boost to manivar kanshi ram it was a moral support to kanshi ram and kanshi ram realized the potential of the population and he from that time onwards a kind of you can say uh, uh, moral support public support uh, the way uh, kansiram uh, got from azamgarh and he decided to uh, strengthen his political uh, political base in uttar pradesh uh, uh, see uh, another important uh, uh, dimension or an, another important development in his politics was uh, perhaps you heard about dinanath dinanath bhaskar from chandoli so he uh, became mla then minister so uh, th- th- there was a ticket distribution of uh, from chandoli district uh, uh, and uh, it was his constituency uh, uh, dinanath bhaskar so there were four people for contender for this uh, 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 t- uh, ticket so what happened all four people came and they started fighting in front of kanshiram so kanshiram what he did he just uh, i mean took a ticket uh, this paper and just torn in, uh, into two pieces and give them give them a four pieces give give all uh, 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 this one piece to one one and at four then everybody started thinking sir ye to kisi ko nahi valid hoga it is going to be waste nobody will be in a position to contest the election then again kansi ram gave them a chance you go outside discuss among yourself who is the genuine con- uh, candidate and then come to me after finalizing among yourself then ultimately uh, two people they uh, left the uh, i mean entire uh, uh, debate discourse uh, are raised uh, to contest the election two people again came uh, in front of kanshira then kanshira again interacted and asked the, uh, them ki you are the two now you tell me who is the real cont- uh, 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 candidate from uh, that particular assembly seat so both of them are very on- uh, i can say ki they were quite honest people and they said ki sir दोनों में से हम लोगों में से कोई नहीं है एंड दो तो पहले हट गए ये दोनों ने कहा सर वी आर नॉट अ रियल कंटेंडर फ्रॉम दैट कंस्टिट्यूंसी द रियल कंटेंडर इज दीनानाथ भास्कर तो वेयर इज दीनानाथ भास्कर देन ही आस्क सर ही इज नॉट हैविंग मनी टू कम टू दिल्ली टू मीट यू finally what he did kansiram just you see the vision just you see how he was the judging capacity how he was judging the person how he was trying to extract the ground reality that is the, that i am trying to just uh, uh, give you this picture and immediately kansiram gave a ticket uh, in the name of dinanath bhaskar 
and asked those these two people ki you go and hand over the ticket to dinanath bhaskar he will contest the election and rest of the thing i will manage next assembly election dinanath bhaskar contested the election in fact he was not in a position even to run his family and he won the election and and he was he was he was made health minister of uttar pradesh that kind of con- uh, contribution uh, is made by mi manur kansira second you know you uh, nowadays you know very popular name is the swami prasad maurya swami prasad maurya in fact he is a product of product of uh, bahujan samaj party you know uh, uh, you know this uh, om prakash rajbar another the uh, most obc community he is a product of the bahujan samaj party so these kind of leadership the kansiram promoted uh, uh, in uh, uh, in bahujan samaj party so his prime concern was ensuring the representation of the real bahujan samaj give by giving them representation in electoral politics so this um, this kind of people and again uh, sukhdev rajbhar was there and afterward and uh, another important dimension of his politics you are asking about how he was different he was a person of practical uh, uh, i mean experiment and he was a person of ground real uh, uh, always uh, the go to the zero level always try to trash the people from the ground ground and most of the people given representation his political party they never thought of going to parliament they never th- even thought of going to assembly but they became mla they became minister and uh, and uh, and from that time onwards i and i used to tell uh, tell my people in fact when i came to jnu so 1991 i invited kansiram here in jnu in a triple s auditorium to deliver a lecture on uh, atrocities on dalits and role of the politician whole day kansiram was here another important uh, uh, discussion between me and kansiram in front of all those uh, delegates this uh, in uh, i ask him sir there is completely change in your uh, i mean dress code everything so what was his reaction in fact to what he said uh, see mahendra you are from uttar pradesh i said yes so which district you come from i said i am coming from azamgarh then he said ki bhek hai to bhik hai means you are known by your dress you are known by your i mean i mean way of uh, presentation jnu is a very prestigious university and if i uh, i would have come in my original dress then people would have recognized oh ho ye to schedule caste ka hi hai na ye to chama rahi hai na that was his reaction so i am coming here to save the image of the bahujan student so that it should not give a negative impression that schedule caste people are obc people are uh, i mean uh, they are uh, uh, they are like this they are not uh, having this code of uh, dress code or they are they are not familiar so they uh, what is his reaction he said ki i am coming here only to just uh, just give a message ki how you can you can you can change the entire politics and from that time onwards uh, in fact i am the founder member of bahujan student front and we contested election in this campus twice and because of that uh, and you can say from that time onwards sfi aisf and this aisa people started contesting only to secure the defeat of bahujan uh, social movement or bahujan student organization so that was a, you can say a kind of emergence of the bahujan politics so as you said uh, bsp cadre produce politician like swami prasad maurya rajbhar so uh, now they are no more with uh, bsp so what caused such fragmentation in the bsp because everybody has their uh, vestige interest and in politics there are very few people those are really committed for the cause because after certain period a politics is a such a dirty game where people are coming to make the money they are not coming here for charity they are not coming here for social reform nobody is interested and that is where i i found kansiram was a completely dif- a different person who was not behind the money otherwise he would have made millions and millions but he was not that kind of person 
He was a completely different person that I found. Number one. Number two, you, are, you uh, named uh, this uh, Swami Prasad Maurya and uh, this uh, Om Prakash Rajbar. In changing scenario, you see, uh, if you are in power, deal uh, politics in this way. If you are in power, you are considered to be honest. But when you are in opposition, you are the most corrupt person. And here I would add, in fact, if you join in a present political scenario, if you join a ruling party, so any amount of corruption you have done in the past, after joining this ruling party, you will become, become clean. I mean, it is a kind of, so now Swami Prasad Maurya and everybody are in Sukhdev Rajbar, just to see the number, percentage of population, what is their percentage of population and caste matters in Indian politics. And here, none of the political leader except Kansiram, I can say, is in a position to unite this, this uh, fragmented society. But after a certain point, I can say, I do admit, honesty among the uh, BSP leaders also decline. I can say that uh, there is no honesty as such. There is no cadre building uh, uh, which uh, has uh, had happened during the time of Mani or Kansiya. There is no cadre as such. No cadre meeting, no cadre, nothing. Everybody is calculating and after 2014, I can say, election has become a most expensive, expensive, because apogee and the way uh, demonetization, or you can say, uh, 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 use of uh, entire government machinery. So, uh, so in electoral uh, uh, behind this uh, uh, opposition leader, so opposition leaders are now not in a position even to contest the election due to financial uh, current financial problem. The way money is playing politics, uh, uh, a prime role in this politics, in fact, it is the scheduled caste and backward class are going to be the worst victim in given, given political system because they don't have anything. And in given situation, when uh, Kansi Ram was a self-made man, he was a different kind of person because even today, if you decide uh, uh, and try to follow the line uh, taken up by uh, Kansi Ram, definitely you will, uh, you will uh, succeed. It will take time. It may take one decade, it may take two, uh, two decades. You see, from 80, uh, 1963 and then what happened in uh, uh, 2000, uh, 1995 onwards, how political situation changed, how Kansi Ram succeeded in, uh, in uh, I mean, uh, uh, after becoming, becoming part of the government, how Kansi Ram, I mean, you can say, Kansi Ram is the only person who gave voice to the voiceless people. Before that, there was no voice. And if you just, and this is an important uh, outcome of the Kansi Ram uh, politics, Bahujan politics. I am not talking uh, uh, a politics played by uh, this kind of today's Bahujan. Sukh, uh, Sukhdev Rajbhar or uh, uh, this uh, Swami Prasad Maurya are other political leaders. They are in a position to uh, discuss are they are openly challenging the society. This is this strength is given by Kanshira. Behind them, Kanshira movement, and here and there you uh, you uh, uh, found out while he's speaking, they take the name they take take the name of Kanshira everywhere. Either it is Swami Prasad Maurya or even even Sukhdev Rajbhar or even uh, Om Prakash Rajbhar. Most of the people recognize the contribution of Kanshira. Uh, sir, जैसे कि लाइक साहब सेड कि uh, अगर राजनीतिक जड़ें मजबूत करनी है उससे पहले जो है सामाजिक जड़ें मजबूत होनी चाहिए। So how did he uh, mobilize people? How साहब strengthen the cultural movement through uh, बहुजन मेला, uh, पेरियार मेला? See, uh, in fact nowadays uh, you know the politics of symbol. Politics of symbol plays a very dominant role in the society. Dalits, I am precisely talking about uh, Dalit, and then I will come uh, on backward. Just to see the youth named uh, Periyar, and uh, I am going to add Lalai Singh Yadav from Uttar Pradesh. Both were the people who de uh, categorically denounced Hindu religion, and they took the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, line 
and if you want your progress you have to denounce hindu religion you have to come out from the hindu fold that was the sachi ramayan kya hai sachi ramayan is a, a completely a critique of hindu religion this uh, uh, per periyar never accepted hinduism so periyar and lalai singh both being in uh, uh, army lalai singh yadav uh, was you can say he was put behind the bar he was uh, given life imprisonment but somehow he managed to come out from the jail and he was the person who entire uttar pradesh even i i met lalai singh yadav in uh, in lucknow and that, uh, if you are aware there is a royal hotel royal hotel is a uh, uh, is mla's residence so in those days in 80s 90s and afterward this was the major center of this uh, you can say holding a meeting so lalai singh yadav used to call a meeting in royal hotel aur uh, usme the kya naam hai lalai singh yadav the usme uh, ramdhan bhi hote the usme Ra uh, ramdhari ram hote to usme hamare pitaji rajdev ram hote the jo, uh, jo uh, abhi 2 saal pehle unki death hui hai so uh, in those day it was a very difficult task usme there were so many people those were taking uh, taking active part so and everybody was critical uh, in fact there was a massive campaign we are not the hindus why we are unnecessary indulge in this kind of debate hindu and non hindu we are the separate race we are the separate identity and we associate ourselves the descendant of indus valley civilization so and everybody there is a conflict you can say society is divided in two group one is trying to impose or one is trying to force you to accept you are the hindu other society is our other group headed by you can say manyor khan including manyor khan siram including lalai singh yadav including ram sarup barma including uh, uh, periyar sahab including swami achutanand hariyar in perhaps you are not aware or aware i have no idea uh, you read uh, read uh, how what was the contribution of swami achutanand hariyar he was the person who was heading the social movement he was the initially he was uh, in charge of north india arya samaj 1917 mein jo hai 19 so there was a i mean foundation of a primary school where brahmin student were sitting were sitting on the dais uh, however this scheduled caste boys work kept away 200 meters away so that kind of discrimination dr uh, the, the swami achutanand harihar saab through his own from his own eyes and immediately he denounced arya samaj he said no his original name was hiralal hiralal sanyasi from hiralal he became achutanand he himself uh, uh, took this title and he started traveling door to door room to room room to room and and everywhere in fact and another important point he uh, in fact uh, uh, promoted this cultural uh, uh, event also among the among the untouchable society and here adi dharm perhaps you have heard the name adi dharma was a movement it was a, 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 a religion which was followed by untouchable community when i am using the term untouchable community it it is not only nowadays scheduled caste it is uh, uh, the, the, the scheduled caste today's and backward class were the very much part of this hindu dharma adi hindu adi hindu sammelan adi hindu adi hindu dharma in 1927 onwards there was adi hindu magazine was published from nagpur also so and there were 56 adi dharm movement uh, this sammelan had held across the country and very interesting information that, that was people in a international conference of adi dharma which had held in prayag nowadays prayag initially it was allahabad kumbh mela usko 1927 28 mein and i have the record at least people from tehran came to participate in that uh, international conference tehran karachi nowadays pakistan bangladesh usme jitne bhi across the uh, it means though those people discriminated in nowadays iran they were they were looking for this kind of uh, i mean uh, 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 movement and they became i witness by participating in adi dharma movement so that kind of and kansi ram uh, i mean i can say he was uh, this uh, being a social reformer 
he was an intellectual uh, you can say par excellent he was a real sense of a practitioner so he studied everyone and in, uh, uh, after completing his in a uh, one step two step then he realized ki how we are going to translate into until uh, in in politics how i am going to succeed in in politics until unless i am not going to become a part of this administration i am not going to become part of decision making my entire uh, uh, effort will go uh, uh, i will go waste so keeping all those thing he started because everybody is no uh, your fate is determined by lok sabha your fate is determined by parliament or assembly so until unless you are, you are not rep, uh, giving uh, i am representing to your people your interest is not going to serve so kansir kansiram took this entire and here uh, uh, there your study only you should not stick to your uh, uh, restrict to yourself only to kansiram there was so many social reformer who contributed until unless you are not studying the history of bengal how bengal was divided what was the uh, what was the region it was not a communal basis it was a region because now it is bangladesh bangladesh in fact dhaka district dhaka district there was 54 60 uh, sorry 74% untouchable population in bangladesh dhaka district karimnagar district again 74% untouchable population uh, mehmadnagar district 72% percent population means sizable percent and half of the two third population belonging to the untouchable community and muslim and untouchable social relationship was very social bond was very powerful so to break this social relationship the very it was a calculated move uh, um, uh, 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 this uh, taken by this kind of radical forces i am using that uh, i you know, today uh, you can say rss or any political organization so you know, so they decided how we are going to rule over this uh, these people it's a very difficult till this kind of a relationship is not break up this association among the among the untouchable and the muslims who are not destroyed they are not divided into two parts so and both the community were uh, uh, fighting in bengal president then united bengal i am talking about jo 1871 the first uh, uh, census jo country mein hua tha in british india that had held in it as uh, 1871 for census uh, and you uh, should be aware uh, this um, namo shudra community from west bengal namo shudra community led a powerful movement in 1869 that uh, and they took the position british government is going to conduct a survey caste census to decide their uh, 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 i mean their uh, uh, franchise their uh, their voting pattern are uh, uh, allocating the uh, resources and this is our humble request with the honorable uh, census commissioner our uh, accounting or our enumeration should not be uh, held along with the hindus we are different race we are entirely different people we are not part of the hindu therefore we should be counted separately as a untouchable as a, as a uh, namo shudra and british government conducted separate enumeration separate census for the untouchable community in uh, and from that time after uh, those days even ambedkar was not even born before that just you see the rich history how entire history is distorted your and afterward uh, there, there there had been assembly debate several rounds of assembly debate one group headed by uh, professor nurul amin nurul amin was a, uh, 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 heading the organization comprising four untouchable representatives also and those were, and those uh, 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 this uh, those demanding no we don't want uh, uh, this uh, division of the bengal we don't want that and this uh, those were in favor was a headed the group headed by maharaja bardawan maharaja bardawan was uh, interest was nowadays i can say he was a rss representative because every hindu society when i am uh, using the term present day and I, in present context brahman banyan thakurs these are the hindu still i believe i am not i am i am very clear about that rest of the population is uh, i am using the term दे आर दी अनटचेबल कम्युनिटी वो चाहे अपने आप को हिंदू माने या मानते रहे 
and why i am when i am discussing about this i am very critical ki if they are the hindu at least there should be a social there should have been a social relationship like in among the other three sections so they are segregated they are marginalized they are not given representation so everybody is uh, uh, untouchable today or tomorrow they will realize and definitely this uh, uh, situation is going to change before uh, sahib kanchiram in uttar pradesh what was the condition and what were the uh, movement uh, that preceded sahib kanchiram see before that uh, this what i was discussing uh, except achutanand hmm 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 Except Achutanand, you go. You have to go to the history. Hmm. Perhaps you heard about uh, 1870, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, 1857, एंड uh, जो जिसमें वो कहते थे कि ए, सुअर की चर्बी लगी होगी क्या लगी होगी कारतूस विच वॉज जो यूज की जाती थी मंगल uh, मंगल पांडे बिकेम द हीरो एंड व्हाट हैपन हु रिवील द फैक्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस माता दीन कंट्रीब्यूशन द इंटायर बटालियन रिवोल्टेड अगेंस्ट कैन यू इलेबोरेट व्हाट हैपन बिटवीन माता दीन भंगी एंड मंगल पांडे मंगल पांडे जो वो टिपिकल वो कहते हैं ना लोटा लेके पूजा करने वाले जो पंडित जी का काम था पूजा कराना और ये जो माता दीन का था वो जो उस समय जो फैक्ट्री थी जहां ये कारतूस बनते थे उस कारतूस फैक्ट्री में ये काम करते थे और ये पूरी तरह वो जानते थे कि हो रहा है तो होता ना कि एक सर्टेन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम मुझे लगता कि नहीं मुझे भी अब रिवोल्ट करना चाहिए तो इनफैक्ट जो अठारह की जो क्रांति हुई वो दैट वाज लेड बाय माता दीन उन्होंने आकर के ये बाहर बताया क्योंकि दैट टाइम आई कैन से कि कैसे बोला जाए कैसे कहा जाए कि हिंदू धर्म खतरे में हो जाएगा आज के हिसाब से देखो तो और वही चीज करे ये तो आपको जैसे उसको काटेज के जो कवर को आप दांत से खोल रहे हैं इसमें तो सुअर की हड्डी लगी चर्बी लगी तो आप पोल्यूटेड हो गए तो वो पोल्यूटेड होकर के इनफैक्ट उस समय भी जो होता था ब्रिटिश आर्मी में जो ये लोग होते थे इनफैक्ट उनका वो नहीं वो डर से वहां पर ब्रिटिश आर्मी में जितने ये लोग होते थे काम करते तो कोई इनका इनका कंट्रीब्यूशन ऐसा था नहीं कहीं पर भी तुम अठारह उसके कह रहे प्लासी के युद्ध को कब रहा सत्रह का प्लासी के युद्ध में नवाब सिराज जो लॉर्ड क्लायू के साथ में हुआ उसमें जो लॉर्ड क्लाइव के जो है उसकी जो आर्मी के कंपोजिशन देखो तो उसमें केवल केवल दुसाद कम्युनिटी रही है उसमें कुछ चमार कम्युनिटी रही है आ ही सक्सेसफुली ऑन द ऑन द बैटल नवाब से राजू दौला हारे हैं तो ये पूरे को देयर इज ए नीड टू रीडिफाइन नेशनल मूवमेंट री राइट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ नेशनल मूवमेंट अट्ठारह से लेकर के अठारह से लेकर हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट द हिस्ट्री अठारह तब तो अंबेडकर नहीं थे तब स्वामी अछुतानंद हरिहर नहीं थे तब ये लोग नहीं थे लेकिन माता दिन को कहीं ना कहीं आपको जो यू हैव टू गिव देम गिव देम स्पेस उनको झलकारी बाई को देना चेतराम जाटव थे उस समय अठारह के आंदोलन में इसी तरह से उदैया चमार थे वो टाइटल से ही जाने जाते थे दूसरी जब तुम देख रहे हो उन्नीस सौ का जो ये चौरी चौरा वाला कांड था चौरी चौरा वाला कांड का क्या था ये दैट वॉज द बिगेस्ट लेदर मार्केट ये जो थी गोरखपुर के पास जो चौरी चौरा और उस लेदर इंडस्ट्री से बहुत बड़ा एक होता था कि जैसे पंजाब में थे बाबू मंगू राम मंगू राम के बाप उनके जो पूरा ट्रेड जो ट्रेड होता था दैट वॉज अ लेदर ट्रेड लेदर बिजनेस एंड मंगू राम के जो जो उनके पिताजी जो इंगेज होते थे उन्हों, उनको बहुत ही ज्यादा एक ह्यूज अमाउंट एक हैवी अमाउंट जो पे करना पड़ता था वो अंग्रेजों से व्यापार करते समय वो अंग्रेजी में चूंकि कन्वर्सेशन करना पड़ता था तो नो बडी वॉज अवेयर तो वो लोग करते क्या थे कि उसको जो फिर वो अंग्रेजी से ट्रांसलेट करवाते थे देन बाबू मंगू के पिताजी ने प्रेसराइज मंगू टू स्टडी इंग्लिश टू मैनेज योर बिजनेस उसी तरह से जब तुम जाओ वहां चौरी चौरा वाले कांड में तो मेजर जो था वो 
कैसे इन लोगों ने वहाँ पर पुलिस स्टेशन को घेरा है कैसे उसमें क्या नाम है मनसाराम विद्रोही की किताब है दलित दस्तावेज उसमें बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग उसमें डिस्क्रिप्शन है कि पूरे के पूरे जो है तुम्हारे क्या नाम है ये जो चौरी चौरा कि उसमें वन साइडेड हिस्ट्री केवल गांधी जी गए वहां शांत हो गया दैट वाज नॉट द केस द रियलिटी इज द हिंदूज वर ट्राइंग टू सम हाउ डिस्ट्रॉय द इंटायर दिस लेदर इंडस्ट्री और उसके खिलाफ जो था ये वर दे वर कोलेबरेटिंग विद द ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश ऑफिशियल्स टू प्रिवेंट टू टू स्टॉप दिस काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस जो जो उस जमाने में कहेंगे आज के हिसाब से हिंदू मुस्लिम करने का जो धंधा था कि समहाउ दे शुड स्टॉप दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड एंड एंड दैट वॉज द बैक बोन ऑफ इकोनॉमी ऑफ द अनटचेबल सोसाइटी तो वो उसमें पूरे के पूरे बिजनेस को ही एक तरह से डिस्ट्रॉय किया गया तोड़ा गया तो देयर इज अ नीड टू री राइट द हिस्ट्री अब कौन लिखेगा लेटस वेट